This is Kilo Tazi, the mother city. Birthplace of the Yanrana, our people. Our home, our pride. Wolf, I think I lived here. Maybe we can find out more about me here as well. Kilo Tazi. It still is pretty impressive, isn't it? There has to be loads to learn. Let's look around a bit. I wasn't trying to interrupt them by howling and triggering a, a tip or something like that. I just wanted to howl. Wanted to howl in agreement. It is impressive. Yeah. Oh god. Didn't mean to go that far. Startling. find a way to the top.
Can I break the pottery as a fish? You can. It doesn't make a satisfying noise, though. Big plate. The kind of plate that would be filled with delicious treats for big celebrations when there was still an abundance of food. interact with the ducks at all. I'm pressing D-pad, left, right, and down, it's not doing anything. Oh no, is it not deep enough? Oh, it's not. It's okay. We'll just flop on over there. Rubber ball. A very popular ball game amongst the Yan Rana was a ball game played with two teams on a small court. The goal was to shoot the ball through a small hole. must have been used for climbing. What were you planning to climb? Well, it looks like they're staring at a like a miniature model of some buildings. I'm guessing planning a, a takeover, a coup, something. jump far. He's picking up anything? Ah, yes. Two in here. Given that there's only 11 in the whole game, that's a lot. Oh, wait, is that... It's an artifact. Face. Well, it's a vase. Great description. <laughs> Thanks. Wait, is there another one? Uh, I 
think that was the artifact, and it's just kind of stuck there. exactly sure where I've been and where I haven't. Uh, oh, this is where he first came into here. Yeah, so if I went down there, I'd be going back to the very beginning. So strong. We covered this little baby. They're strong too, though. What is that? Did I just take over a worm? Oh my god. I figured it was a worm, because we saw something like this a little while ago, which looked like it was a worm just hanging out, and I couldn't seem to do anything with it. Uh, I'm a tiny little worm! Okay, what can we do? This is just normal walking. W walking without feet, you know what I mean? This is sprinting. <laughs> About the same speed, just really slow, because we're a worm and we're tiny. This is jumping, which is nothing. Down, left, right on the D-pad, nothing. I, I'm thinking this is just for fun. This probably isn't something you need to get somewhere. Probably? Unless there's just a really small hole somewhere that you can get through. Okay, actually, let's let's not take the worm to get to the other side of the wall. Oh God! Somebody save me! Yes, you. Thank you.
I can't go there, Wolf. Sorry. huge feast and celebration. The music and dance would go on through the whole night. seeing this side of the festival. People begging for food while the rest of us feast. It's not fair. Oh no. Oh. to the poorest of the poor. Have I been here already? I'm not sure. <laughs> I 
could flop my way up, I guess. Don't think this is what you're supposed to do. And that's how I broke the next layer. Is a floppy fish banging my head into a waterfall. <laughs> this is too funny, but also I feel bad for this fish. <laughs> Ping pong. I need to find a tiny friend. Oh! The secret one is in there. The super animal or whatever it's called. Oh, I can't take... I can't get into any of those though. Why not? They're so close. Hummingbird Pluck Tool These tweezer-like tools were used to carefully pluck feathers of hummingbirds. Hummingbirds were considered elegant and agile, and decorations or headdresses made out of their feathers were extremely expensive. Ah, here we go. Hmm, there's a whole secret chamber. That might connect with the stuff down below. Uh, I want to go check over here, though. Actually, there's no point. The special stuff only appears in patches like this that look like dirt. I think. I'm pretty sure. I'll go check this as the wolf. Oh, wait, is this where I'm supposed to go? does seem like it's heading in that direction. Yeah. I suppose we can go through this and fall off the edge? No. <laughs> Let's waddle our way down there. Hello! Two of six legendary animals found. Legendary armadillo. Oops. No, we're definitely staying as this little buddy for a while. 
And now I pressed it again. Amulet Enrichment While the amulet itself has a person's name on it, these clip-ons represented status. This one is fairly simple, so probably means it didn't belong to anyone very high up. So it says, oh, it says right trigger to dig through, right? But you don't actually have to go under it. How it works is simply if you're in the state that occurs when you press the right trigger, it will just break when you touch it, which equates to you can stand next to it and just like tap right trigger and it just explodes. Boop. It's really funny. <laughs> I love it. It's our little worm friend. I may have made a mistake. I didn't think they'd go out of range so quickly. There we go. It's hard to see. My butt's too bright. So there's nowhere to go up here, right? It's just the other way. Mm. I think there might be a way to go over here, actually. If I can jump over this. Yeah, we weren't able to get up here before. supposed to be here? Because if I was, I would have really expected there to be something here. I just walked up here all this time. I guess so. I guess all that was extra.
keeping wild animals in cages like that seems cruel. Looks like you were thinking the same. Chapter 4, Close to the Sun? That's... that's this chapter that we already have been playing. Did I hit a trigger or something? Quite massive chains used to detain wolves in between shows. Oh no. The more I learn about everything that's happened to us and the people around us, the less I like it. Blade of a small knife. This knife was the only weapon allowed in the traditional Yanren wolf against wolf against man battles. That's fucked up. This was the fighting pit, wasn't it? The Yawar Arena. The strongest of the Yanrana would fight against wild beasts. If they survived, they were allowed to join the Sinchi Guard. The winner of the traditional Wolf Against Man battles was awarded in a glamour ceremony. I remember watching the fights in here. It was truly spectacular, I can tell you. Wait a second. There's a passage down there. Uh, also, I think I could have just gone up here. It's 
a wolf muzzle. A muzzle for the wolves to protect the hunters maintaining the arena. You know, looking at this little creature, there was a creature that we controlled a little while ago that looked very similar to this, but I thought it seemed different. The nose seemed a lot bigger and the paws seemed a little bit different. And control-wise, I noticed that you can't roll in a ball as the other creature. And now that I'm looking at their face, I'm absolutely sure that the other creature was truly a different creature. I love that it's the sudden stop animation that plays... When does it play exactly? It plays when you move in a direction and then you, while still moving in that direction, you press the stick in the exact opposite direction. It's like an emergency stop. I think you have to be sprinting as well. So sprinting, pressing forwards, and then press back. And it's like... Find the heart of the temple. You coming or are you like stuck there? Bronze prize. The soldiers used to fight wolves and other wild animals in these arenas barehandedly. This trophy was given to whomever was last standing. Wait, barehandedly? Wait, so... Um... Blade of a small knife. This knife is the only weapon allowed in the traditional Yonrin Wolf against man battles. Um... It could be an inconsistency, but it also could easily be that... Uh, this was specifically allowed in Wolf against man battles. Whereas, was it this? Yeah, soldiers used to fight wolves and other wild animals in these arenas barehandedly. So I think this was only allowed in these traditional wolf against man and battles and then, I guess, barehanded for everything else. I just got an achievement. I'm on a roll. Because you got a roll for a certain amount of time. How can you not want to roll? Just need a downslope to get some speed. This was our sanctuary, the golden sun behind the Temple of Light. It depicts the natural order of the world. Humankind lifted to the sky by animals and nature, kneeling only before their great temple. Isn't it magnificent? Engraving this into my turpoy dagger as a boy. <laughs> How I cherish that dagger.
and you were caught. Do you know what you have done? This place was holy. This was the, the highest form of treason. That has to be why you were cast out of the City of Light. I'm sure of it. I want to go back and see if I missed anything. The color of that stone is so amazing. Looks almost gold. Handcrafted gold coin. Some of the wealthier Yanrana would allow their children to carve their own symbol into these coins, resembling the sanctuary plate for good luck and fortune. Got some friends with me. I feel like this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, it looks like we're going to fly to that tower. <laughs>